Ah, mobile gaming. There's so many crappy games on the cell phone. There's all sorts of cut the rope, angry birds, all that usual junk. But then there's a company called Cave who's made great games on the console such as Doodle and Pa, Resurrection, and other stuff. So, what I have for you is one of the best phone games ever. Doodle and Pa Maximum for the Windows Phone. Now, I'm going to be playing this on my HTC HD7. Still gotta change the default thing. volume up and yeah this game is awesome it's five bucks on the marketplace I think everyone who owns a WP7 should get this game sometimes you have to tap the back button it's a bug they gotta patch it but I'm guessing they will knowing how they patch bugs on like the iPhone and crap okay I like how the screen pops up it even tells you if you're on the trial version and stuff. Alright, so when you start the game up, there's a main menu. You can do all sorts of stuff in the main menu. For example, you can hit play game, you can play the game and stuff. But it's totally worth the five bucks. Because... So I'm going to hit play game now. You can select... Two vouchers at first, but there's four in all. I'm going to choose the laser type. And there are several stages you can choose from. I've already beaten the first one. I'm going to play this one. Stage 2A. And I'm probably going to suck at it. The music in this game is mostly consists of remixes from the first, from the other Dome Paws. And the music is awesome. Yeah, I, I instantly recognize this. This is from stage 2 of the newest one on console, at least. Die for Of course, there's a sequel coming, but that's another story. The graphics are awesome. I mean, this game not only runs at full speed all the time, but I like the graphical style it uses. I really like this graphical style. Okay, I just got hit. The bullet dodging is pretty easy, but... Sometimes it can be harder to see if you're in a sun, but then again, aren't all games hard to see when you're in the sun? I'm not doing so well because I'm playing in the camera, but the game is great. The game, the gameplay in this game is pretty deep, too. You have a laser bomb if you tap the screen. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to do stage 1A. Because I think this will be a little easier because I've memorized this stage basically even when playing through a camera. Go! The controls are great. To control the game, you just touch your screen against the display and it will move. No crappy D-pads which lag like sh None of that. The game just works and so do the controls. You'll be playing this a whole lot, guaranteed. The gameplay is pretty deep too. You have all the combo system, the scoring system, straight from the other dome pod. And instead of a bomb function, there's a meter you fill up at the side of the screen. When you fill that meter up, you you can just tap, like like now. I'm tap. I'm gonna tap. You tap with two hands or fingers, and then that will blow everything up and cancel all the bullets. Similar to hyper mode, so it's, you fill it up like the hyper mode in Dai Fukatsu, but you gotta fill the gauge up and the scores in the top corner. And I'm not doing too well. I'm not doing too well because I'm looking at the monitor. But when you get to the end of the stage, just like in the full version, there's a boss and. Yeah, the game is just like the other Dome Paws. I mean, it's like having your Xbox in your hand. And the game even has Xbox Live on the Windows Phone 7. So, you can get all your favorite achievements. All in all, you'll really love getting all the achievements too. I mean, especially because most of them 
are from gameplay. You'll get a bunch of them in gameplay, and the others you can get from just being good. All in all, if you have Windows Phone 7, it's worth it. It even has leaderboards too, so if you want to check your score. Let me see how well it connects. Yep. It'll display your leader. Don't know why it's not displaying the world leaderboards. Maybe maybe it's a glitch I'll be fixed in the next update, but all in all this game's actually pretty well done considering especially considering this is day one already. In fact, I'm just gonna play one more. One more stage. I'm gonna just try stage 2A with just to explain some more stuff. The, okay, there are two types of... Unlike the other game, you don't hold the button to change. Instead, you pick a ship type which only fires this one kind. And, and there are also some other features that aren't in this one. Because, like I said, this is the phone version. But this is really fun. It's well worth the five bucks. I mean, you'll like it. And like one last thing I'd like to mention, this game runs pretty well on all phones. Even though I'm using an older HD7, which isn't the newest one, it's still running at smooth 60 FPS, or whatever that is. Oh, I got killed again. Either way, I'm much better without the camera in my way. But either way, this game is well worth it. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and the game's only 5 bucks on Windows Phone 7, and in fact, let me show you one more thing, if I get signal. Look, it's already got 5 star rating on the marketplace. Everyone's telling you it's the best game ever, just to prove. Buy this game, everyone, it's only 5 bucks. buy it, and thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.